But these are some of my favorite sunglasses. I don't know why, but they just, they just look good on me. I don't know what it is. Really, I might wear them the whole interview from here on out. What's up, GQ? This is Jabelle McGee, and these are my essentials from home. Beyond Burger. It's completely delicious. The best vegan burger out there, in my opinion. And I'm vegan, of course, so this is a key component in staying healthy and getting a nice hearty meal. No, I really don't crave. It's, it's, it's like a, me personally, I'm like the type of person that just does it. Like I'm a cold turkey person. I'm not like a person who's like, I'm just gonna be vegan on Monday and then the next week, uh, two days a week. When I do it, I just do it. So that's really how I roll. Like I see other people like eating a chicken sandwich. They'll feel guilty eating around me. I'm like, I'm not that person. Like, have fun, enjoy it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this vegan chicken instead. How has been your like healthy eating while on quarantine? I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard. Just because I'm not working out as much, so I'm not burning as much energy. And uh, I got a lot more time to just sit in the house and look at the refrigerator. So peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with strawberry jam has been a, a lifesaver for me. Not crunchy peanut butter either, creamy. For sure. My next essential is a complete MIDI keyboard. I produce music. This is a key essential in producing music. Without this, I wouldn't be anywhere. This is very necessary when you're making music and uh, just trying to get the vibe right. This keyboard specifically, it has everything on it. Tempo, record, play, stop. You can connect it to, to, to your Logic or your FL or whatever you're using and it'll, it'll sink in with the uh, program. It'll light up, it'll tell you the keys. No, this is the one, this is mainly the one. If I'm like on an airplane or anything, I'll probably uh, have like a mini one, but like at the crib, for sure, this one. This is all I really need. You don't need. You don't really need more than 49 keys. You can change the octaves and everything. So it's really not that important to have 104 keys. But this is the the key component that really gets me through my musical endeavors. So is that the one that you helped record, or you recorded the beat for for the Justin Bieber song on? For sure. There's a couple of keys. You know, play a couple of these right here, and the magic happened. That's where the magic happened for sure. Bond number nine cologne. This is one of my favorite colognes. It's sort of essential uh, when I want to walk, walk around the house and smell good because <laughs> I have nowhere to go. And it has a bow tie on the bottom, on the, on the bottle. So maybe the bottle has somewhere to go. But yeah, it's really, I really like it. It smells good. It's more of a, has, oh yeah, real, real strong. Scent, yeah, there it is. Real strong scent. It's amazing. And it's called the scent of peace for him. You know what I'm saying? It smells like peace. That's what it smells like. If peace had a smell, that's what it would be. My Sony A7 III camera. I really like to shoot a lot of content and when it comes to just Instagram, YouTube, music, anything. I just really like shooting stuff. So this is extremely important to me because I just like, I like to do stuff. I'm, I'm a real creative when it comes to certain things. I feel like I film everything. Basketball is the main thing that I get to film, um, but I also get to film music and I also get to film just like day to day, get to film my daughter. I didn't have a lot of video of myself as a child when I was a kid. So I always told myself like, if I ever get the opportunity to have a child, which I did, and I wanna have so much video and photos of her to where she's like, let me see the archives. And you can just see this when you're three, this when you're four, this when you're nine, so it'll be dope. Definitely doing more creative things. Uh, for example, making music, which I already was doing, but I'd have a lot more free time to do it. So it just makes, it's, it's like if you do anything every day, you'll get better at it. So I'm definitely getting better uh, in my quarantine times. And also playing video games. I just became a streamer. It's just something new that I'm, I'm really into. And I've always played video games, I just never, let people watch me play video games. So now it's, it's, it's a different thing, but I really enjoy it. It's a screen recording, but it's also a camera facing me and it's watching me play the game as it's being recorded. It's kind of a Inception type vibe. The next item is my daughter's backpack. This is extremely necessary. Just keeps all her snacks in it, all her, whenever like if we go to the park, 
because that's really like the only place you really can go. So like if we go to the park or anything, I could put some snacks in here, put some waters in here, a couple of her toys, her iPad if we go to the park and use the iPad, which is really like contradicting why going to the park. But sometimes it's necessary with the child. Oh, her sunglasses, don't forget those. She also has a, a monkey purse, but I don't think it's in here. Oh, it is, her monkey purse, yes. Definitely the monkey purse is very necessary. Let's see how much money she has in her uh, monkey purse. That'll be funny. Okay, big ball and she got about $7 in here. Hey, <laughs> don't spend it all in one place, young lady. There's a lot of stuff in here, all her stuff though. Socks, hairbrush, Mentos. I'm not saying she has bad breath or anything, but and some more sunglasses too. She's a cool, cool kid. Can't really stop her. Definitely the workout ball. Sometimes I replace my like computer seat with this just because it's really good for your back and your core, stabilizing your core and everything. So this is definitely a key essential. It's good on your ass if you're not trying to work out and you're just sitting at the desk, it's definitely good for your core because you definitely have to balance a little bit. But it's a lot of stuff you can do on the ball. Abs, arms, legs, it's just a lot of things that you really can do with this. My sunglasses. These are extremely comfortable. I love these sunglasses. How long have you had this? Probably four years now. And they're holding up pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really good with keeping up with sunglasses, but I've kept up with these. This one is a Jug Life water jug, half a gallon water jug. You can put as much water as you want in here. It goes up to half a gallon. Stay hydrated. Jug Life is my foundation. We build water wells in Uganda, and we also teach kids all around the world uh, the importance of living a healthy and active lifestyle and drinking water. So that's what that's about. Reusable water bottle, biodegradable. You can get it at juglifewater.com if you want one. It's just a great product. Looks like a whole gallon, but in my hands, it looks like a, a quarter of a gallon, but it's about a half a gallon of water. So my next essential is, I definitely have to have the three pictures. My daughter's three years old. I have three pictures, Christmas photos of her taking a picture with Santa. The funny part is, in every one, she's hysterically pissed that Santa Claus is touching her. So I'll slowly show you each one, each year after another. You got year one, which is her crying hysterically. Year two, where it is completely the same. And year three, I can't wait for this year to get another one. Hopefully we'll be able to go outside and do it. Strangers are not her thing. So just Santa alone is like, well, I don't want to do this. Like verbally, she'll tell you like, no, no Santa, no Santa. And we, of course we got to do it for the, for the picture. And it's just hilarious. Cause every year it's the same thing. She's pissed. And then the Santa is sitting there with this jolly smile, just trying to act normal while she's literally throwing a fit. And she's not a little, like a little child. She's like 40 pounds. So Santa really has to like, it's, it's hilarious. My next essential is Vega protein powder. When it comes to working out, so I'm still working out, I have a little gym in my garage and I get it in. And sometimes you just run out of your food in the refrigerator and everything. So you just go ahead and make you a shake. It'll, it'll hold you over until you can get back to the supermarket. Vanilla is my favorite. Not really a chocolate person, but definitely vanilla. It's completely vegan also. And uh, I literally just have to put water in it. It'll be good. But sometimes, you know, I like to spice it up and put almond milk in it. Get real risky with it. You can uh, get some vegan ice cream, maybe, right? Take some vegan ice cream, put it in a blender, take some almond milk, pour that in there, a scoop and a half of the, the Vega protein powder, and then go ahead and blend that up. Got you a nice little vegan milkshake. Hand sanitizer, for sure. You gotta keep the hands clean, especially in this epidemic, this pandemic that we're going through. So it's really important to do that. It has aloe in it, so it's pretty good for your skin. I've never really been like super OD about germs. I'm always washing my hands, of course, and then all of that, but I've never been the hand sanitizer every time I shake someone's hand type of person. I'm going to like the supermarket. I'll probably go to the supermarket like 
once every two weeks. And when I go, people come up to me and want to take a picture. So we have this new six feet of distance in the picture. So there's definitely some pictures up there uh, of me standing six feet behind someone like this. So it's whatever, it's no biggie. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you GQ for having me. You guys stay safe out there, especially in the quarantine and this pandemic that we're going through and uh, stay blessed.